Joe Balestrino, the 10-year Treasury yield was sub 2% for almost the entire year of 2012. What are your expectations for 2013? Yeah, Greg, we're not seeing much more different going forward. We're in a very low growth environment. Unfortunately, I would argue we don't have a growth agenda in Washington, D.C., and you do have a fiscal problem. So what are the two remedies? It's increased taxes, cut spending. Neither of those are growth words. So growth words. So we're expecting a very low nominal, not recessionary, but a low nominal, low inflationary growth period. Can Ben Bernanke do anything to change that forecast, or is he out of bullets? He's not out of bullets, and he keeps telling us he's not out of bullets, but he does also tell us he's not sure how well the bullets will work going forward. It's his job to keep trying. They're going to keep trying. We expect QE4 here momentarily by the end of the year, and, and maybe five and six after that. Will that add up to inflation at any time in 2013? What's your view of TIPS, for example? We like TIPS today, but it's a very active discussion in our own portfolios. We're very overweight TIPS. The discussion is should we sell that trade? Because you've seen break-even levels go from the high 100s to the mid 200s, which is above the rate of inflation, which argues you're supposed to sell them. Mr. Bernanke would love to have an inflation problem. That's a twisted way of saying he needs to get money moving through the economy, and we haven't yet. Meanwhile, money has been moving into higher yielding securities like high yield bonds. Is that trade getting a bit crowded? It's getting late in the capital appreciation game, and we've literally hit all-time lows in high-yield bonds this year in yield, so i.e. high in price. You get into the low to mid-sixes, most of that game's over. But the, the good side is credit quality is really strong. Kind of the bad side, good side, bad side. The bad side is earnings growth has peaked, credit quality has peaked, default rates can't go below zero, which they were for a couple of years. So it's a relative valuation game. What about municipal bonds? We had a few bankruptcies in the U.S. this year, some in California, Harrisburg, Jefferson County. Right. What about 2013? Is that going to be the year where Meredith Whitney is proven right? I don't think Meredith will ever be proven right to the magnitude that she was proclaiming. Again, hundreds of billions of dollars in defaults. That's not going to happen. She was right in the sense that they do have a problem, generally speaking. But they is, it's a big nebulous world. You mentioned a few high-profile names of tens of thousands of issuers. And sure, there's, they're, they're in trouble, some of them. They will go default. But the good news is states were forced to take action. Unlike the federal government, states can't run deficits. So you like munis? We like munis. What about corporate bonds? A lot of people have been, to a certain extent, hiding in corporate bonds. However, a lot of the money that corporations have been hiding overseas, Congress is looking to get at that money. And what, what does it mean if Congress does get their hands on all that overseas cash? Yeah, we don't see them really getting their hands on it. I, I'd like to see them get it on by cutting the tax rate because it's idle money for the United States. If we could bring some of it home and don't tax it at 35, but tax it at 15 or 20, I think it's a win-win. The government wins with some revenue, hopefully the economy wins with some jobs. Having said all of that away from taxes, we're recommending an underweight to corporate bonds, investment grade corporate bonds. So putting it all together, I know you're a bond guy, but do you think people are going to stay in fixed income in 2013 because People certainly haven't left in 2012. They have not. They've come in in mass. We believe they will continue to come in in mass, and it's almost not a choice any longer. It's required rates of return. You know, the aging, the demographic. Folks are retiring. They need fixed income, it, but it's not you and I. The biggest buyers of bonds are pension plans and insurance companies. They have a required rate of return. They have a liability stream. Bonds satisfy that stream. So the big technical is going to remain in play.